In his role as president of the Lutheran World Federation, ELCA presiding bishop Mark Hansen visited Lutherans in Kenya and Tanzania in June 2008. His first stop was Nairobi, where he met briefly with Lutheran church leaders, staff, and pastors before moving on to Tanzania. In Dar es Salaam, Hansen participated in early morning weekday worship with more than 1,000 people at the Lutheran Cathedral. He visited Tumaini University, a Lutheran university with branches throughout Tanzania. He visited a women's center near Dar es Salaam, speaking to local pastors and staff. He traveled to Iringa in central Tanzania, where he first visited 10 years ago as a synod bishop. The LWF president was greeted by large crowds waiting along the roadside, symbolic of the growing Evangelical Lutheran Church in Tanzania. And he visited a local medical clinic based at a church. So people come to a clinic, they can be referred to here and um, receive just incredible care. Plus you'll have the education center. It's, it's a wonderful thing. And do you have enough doctors and nurses? I mean, to keep mm, up with we, do, we don't have enough. In central Tanzania, thousands attended Sunday worship at the Iringa Lutheran Cathedral. Later, Hansen helped Bishop Odenberg M. de Gala dedicate a commemorative plaque at a soon-to-be-built ecumenical chapel at the Iringa branch of Tumaini University. This is a place where the Spirit of God brings people to faith and sets people of faith free for learning. So it is essential that there be a chapel. Bishop M. de Gala said Bishop Hansen's visit to Iringa was a sign of hope for the Tanzanian people and demonstrated the unity of the global Lutheran communion. He has shown that we are together and what we are doing is supported by the church in America and you know what he said that um, the, the church in Africa is enriching the church in America. Hansen's final stop in Tanzania was Arusha where he toured the new Arusha Lutheran Medical Center scheduled to open in October 2008. He also chaired a regular meeting of the Lutheran World Federation Council, challenging the LWF and its members to confront a variety of environmental concerns. For the ELCA News Service, John Brooks, Arusha, Tanzania.